Guys, in this video, we're going to do a little bit of work on this Traxxas E Revo 2.0. Just had some stuff turn up. I've got another set of these standard rims. I know I did blow out the original set. This literally happened when I tried doing that two wheel thing. But the reason I think it done it is because the diff fluid is so loose that all the power went to the wheels up in the air. So I want to rip it apart, take the diffs out. That's quite a big job on these. It's not like an X-Max where you can just take the cap off the back. You literally have to strip the whole entire rear end down and the front end down. I might just do the rear first for now, leave the front and see how we get on. So I've got a new cage thing here for the shock mounts because I broke that. Some bits for the UDR and the TRX4. The reason I want to go back to the stock tyres is because they're a little bit lighter. They seem to fit the truck a little bit better and they handle nicer. So I want to give these another shot. All right, let's get it stripped out. Alright, so got the diff out. People say that the E Revo 2.0 diffs are X Max size. Eh, uh, definitely not. So, I'm just going to add in a little bit of 500,000 weight diff oil. I'm not going to take the original oil out, I'll leave it in there because that way it's going to mix up and it's going to be kind of a little bit in between. Probably not the ideal way of doing it, but. I'm only a basher, it's not, you know, we're not going to get too technical here, the thing's just got to work. People in the comments, they always moan when I do like a time lapse rebuild or something, but I've never stripped one of these down before. I don't know what I'm doing. And I didn't really want to get the camera in the way and film a load of stuff that I've sort of unnecessarily done. I mean, if you have a look at this thing, a lot has to come off. I've completely had to strip down the whole rear end. There's a lot of work and I probably took more off than what I had to. I'm not sure. So, you know, once I've figured out how to do this properly, next time I do it, I'll do a proper step-by-step -step guide of doing it. But for the case of this video, guys, as I said, because I'm new to this, I've never done it before. I didn't want to get the camera in the way and film, film every little nut and bolt and spend hours editing it only for doing it the wrong way. I mean I wish they made it so easy as this. On here if you want to change the diff it's literally you take the bumper off, there's five screws to hold the cover on, the diff's out. <laughs> Alright let's get the thing put back together. Actually, looking at it guys, because the diff case splits open that way, it does look like I could have just taken this off and got the diff out that way. So maybe it's just me, I don't know. I mean, this is why I didn't bother doing an in-depth tutorial on this guys, because I'm still learning myself. But we will see. You know, maybe it is easy to work on, but yeah, we'll see. There you have it guys, all back together again, tighter rear diff. I mean, I did go about it a little bit of a long way. I think I took definitely took more off than what I was supposed to. So as I get the hang of wrenching on this thing, guys, maybe my opinion on how hard it is to work on may change. <laughs> Oh, 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 yes, all right, let's put it away before we kill it. 
So guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button. You know what you gotta do, bah.